<laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, Hi For What's It. <laughs> For goodness sake. I'm here with my two good friends, Jake. Hello. And Valkyrie. <laughs> Hi. So what we're going to start off doing is we're just going to say that out of all the tracks, one track that's a tilt drone we want to get rid of, one track that's not a tilt drone that we want to get rid of. <laughs> right, Hungry, for sure. I hate it. So Hungry being a, a, a non-tilt drone. Right, and uh, tilt drones. What ones are those again? Uh, <laughs> the ones designed by Herman Tilt. Yeah, yeah that's, so, that's all well good, buddy. But Bahrain, China, uh, Azerbaijan, then um, strolling through. Uh, Germany was modified by him. Yeah, Singapore, Hockenheim. Russian. Like Singapore, fuck it, get rid of Singapore. Mexico, Mexico USA, yeah. and Abu Dhabi. So yeah, Singapore. No, Sing oh no, actually Singapore or Abu Dhabi, both of them I hate. I can never get a rhythm on in Singapore, bro. Bad okay. double Singapore. There's a lot less room for error. So explain to me Singapore and Hungary. Um, you, you've got. It just doesn't flow right at all. You've got the fast, like fast section with the kink to the left. That you either get right and it's and then you fail in next corner, or you get wrong and you just carry on failing. You got that SC section again. It's just shit. Facts. You can't get rhythm on it. <laughs> or I can't uh, get rhythm on it at least. Yeah. What well, Singapore? Singapore. I've just again. It's it's all down to rhythms on it. I just never enjoyed racing on it. Never really enjoyed watching it. You've got no room for error. It's just rinse and repeat of uh, any other track really, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is there anything specific to F1 about Singapore? Because you've already mainly just said your reasons. For, like, is it overtaking? Is it straight is it what is it i don't know i hate the track so much i barely ever watch it <laughs> i mean that's a fair reason same with hungry i don't watch it i, I don't watch tracks i really can't be bothered watching i don't watch it i, I don't track, pay I f1 barely watch it. that's fair enough jake what are your two track two tracks okay tilt drone that i would n happily see uh get effed is most likely russia Big up for the and British accent Mexico. There. Well, Mexico as well, but mainly more so Russia. But, See, yeah, they're still I my two like ones. Now I have to think of two more. <laughs> um, also as well, for the non-tilt drone, again, I'll, yeah, I'll stick with my option with Spain. Okay. I really don't like Spain. Uh, Russia, just because it's just a mess of a track, the fact that the surface is weird, the tyres are really temperamental. Yeah, it does not have a bad sort of tyre wear thing. Yeah, it, it, the circuit's not for tire wear. the circuit's not abrasive enough for allow consistent racing. And can the we also just mention? Abrasive. Can we mention how section three is? But sector three is basically just a rip off of Singapore. Pretty Literally, much, yeah. sector That's... three is copy and paste Singapore sector three. Not turn quite. it round. You've actually got room for error. Hence why I like uh, Russia more. Mm. You can actually go wrong and not retire from a Grand Prix. Some areas of the track Monica. are good, like turn three, I think is brilliant. But the rest of the circuit, besides that, they it just doesn't have any outstanding features. I too fair. It's, it's what not you're one saying of those... is it's a bit like yourself, a bit dull. <laughs> not much Whatever. to it. <laughs> well, no, it's one of those tracks you can't exactly go back to. So, for, for example, there's not a corner you can really say about. Like you can go to Italy, everyone knows the Stiari. You can go to Japan, everyone knows What's the Casio Stiari? Triangle. Yeah, and 130R as well. Yeah, and 130R, obviously. <laughs> and you, you can go to Brazil and just know the Senate S's. You can go to Britain and know Maggots and Beckett's, you know? Practically every corner on the circuit. Oh, yeah, I'd say Britain's like the only track that has every corner named. Like, why? Yeah. What's the point, Britain? Why are you so British? <laughs> and and do you, want, do you want my reasons for Spain? Yeah. Spain, the reason, this is a more justified reason for this. I can explain this a lot more clearly. Spain, it's because with the cars, as I said earlier, with the cars longer wheelbase, the fact that they just try and get as much downforce as possible, and the fact that, you know, today's modern Formula One cars, they produce stupid levels of downforce, like Jupiter levels, the high, the braking mm -hmm. zones just become shorter, and bearing in mind that there aren't many heavy braking zones on the track, um, if you I have a look at footage, um, in, if, you have a look of, if you have a look at footage in the 90s, uh... you will see. Cars are a lot simpler, have a lot less downforce, and they're able to overtake each other. Two. And as the cars have gotten faster and faster, the racing just 
haven't materialized mm. and yes it's a good testing venue because it's got everything high speed track got high speed high speed straights fast corners slow corners but as a uh, racing spectacle it just doesn't work anymore, um, sadly. i can't because... say it for sure but i do think that spain might be better if they stop using it for pre-season testing mm. well where, have where, a lot where less chance to develop a new Go on to a, I don't going? know. Just go on to a Brand track Satch. that just isn't associated with the F1 calendar. Brand Remember Satch. replacing Boom. El Argos? Using El Argos for pre-season testing. Well, to be fair, before they exclusively tested at Barcelona, they used to test at um, Jerez in Spain, which wasn't on the F1 calendar, and that was brilliant. They... That's what they need to do, though. They need to get off the F1 calendar if they want to test their cars out, because you let, yeah. say... You let McLaren and Mercedes and all that race a thousand laps around a circuit to test their car. By the time the race comes on that circuit, they're all they're gonna have all the data they need. They don't need to worry about it. Everyone's gonna know how to what to do, and they're mm. all gonna be in their own little ribbons. No one's really gonna be out there taking risks because they know where they can and can't take do them. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually no point. I'm gonna put a suggestion in here. That a, a few suggestions actually. Yeah, but the, but the thing is, though, the cars, they've got so much air of grip, the braking distances are so much smaller, but when you're alongside, they can just brake later and they, you just get round the corner with enough aerodynamic grip. So, okay, so... With the increased downforce, the braking zones are reduced, and it reduces the amount of overtaking you could do around Barcelona. So my, f my first suggestion, which I agree with that, is re-edit this track. Hmm. Um... I'm think now. What I personally think is the straight is on or the second DRS straight is basically useless. I don't think anyone's really overtaken there apart from Daniel Ricciardo. Yeah. It, it, it's too short. Where is this? It's way too short. Like second so, DRS. Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Between turn nine and turn ten. Well, it's like I'd a Monaco say, DRS zone. It's really irrelevant. What I'd say mm. is get rid of the straight. Just just get rid of it. Just use the little corner that they have going round. Yeah, it's, it's like. That's from the uphill. Well, that, was part, that was part of the original circuit when they first used it in 1991 and changed it. See, I'd, I'd say it's still use that. Up, that l up the hill, you got a little windy bit, and then don't you just go straight on up there, go into sort of mini hairpin like, and come back down into that sharp corner to go back up again? Yeah. Well, that's well, it's, the original layout. Well, I'm pretty sure do, point, but... You know, after the DRS zone, where you've got that really tight. Yeah. Twinty section. You've got if the you running cross, not running cross, sorry. You've got a really long sweeping handle that the MotoGP guys use. That's what I meant. To use. I say bring Is that, that around back. the Barcelona like, yeah. Yeah. logo in the middle of it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just beyond there. That's but fun. wouldn't that and also be somewhat counterintuitive? Because wouldn't that um, allow them to go through there faster using more of their aero grip? Mm -hmm. At least in that hard braking zone, they have to rely more on their mechanical grip. Whereas going around a more smoother, mm. faster corner, it's just going to mean that aero plays a lot more part in it again, which is what you said you didn't. Yeah. Which is and also get. So you you. Oh. you. I was, was, was going to say get rid of that final chicane. It's useless. What's the point of it being there? He literally said again, my point anyway. I think, I think it's the same reason you said before. You, what's your alternative? You take that chicane, or you go right around the edge of it. So that's already there. However. Choice of mechanical grip over area However, grip. The, that long mechanical. that will be one long corner if you think about it. That will well, be one long corner going yeah. into the main straight. I mean, that would be well, beautiful the... for slipstream for overtaking. That would be really good as a spectacle. Yeah. I think people would love to watch that. Well, the they probably the... would, yeah. And the reason you can't overtake on the main straight is you're slowed down by the chicane. You're, you're forced to go behind them. By the time they've accelerated off in front of you, what like you say, so you could be like 0.1 seconds behind. Hold on a minute. They've accelerated. Hold on a minute. I hope you plan to edit uh, edit this up because Neo is talking, and uh, I'm pretty sure he ain't part of this. If you're just talking. Oh no, I've, as well. I've muted him. It's fine. It's okay. Don't. Right. Yeah. Well, he's talking, and I've just lost yeah. the spot yeah. completely. Yeah. But no. Um. No. So the chicane slows you down. You could be 0.1 seconds behind going into the chicane. Getting out of that chicane, you're about 0.5 seconds behind. You ain't going to make that overtake unless you're Daniel Ricciardo. Mm. Well, the, well, the reason why they introduced that chicane at the end of the circuit originally was to improve the racing spectacle, and it doesn't do anything because the old circuit, as I say, um, before where you go into that little right-hander before you go into the final chicane, it went on a bit further, had a nice sweeping left-hander, 
meets up at the exit of where the chicane is and goes around the final corner. And they said, oh, we'll put the chicane in to improve the racing spectacle and allow people to get closer. Hasn't See, made the racing difference. spectacle I don't agree with at all. I think you shouldn't be basing F1 track design around the racing spectacle. You don't want to be trying to artificially make the racing better. You want to actually allow the racing Formula to e. actually be good. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, which... Yeah, which is why you get rid of that chicane and return to the long sweeping layout because he said well, they I can get a better, more draft. A much better reason to have that chicane in there rather than saying for the racing spectacle ooh, is safety. Think of how fast you could potentially be entering that, uh, that long thing yeah, and if you, if you bottom out maybe or lose traction through there, you're just going to do well, a send all over it again. Well, that's another thing that really annoys me about new racing tracks. The fact they've just got such long tarmac runoffs. What's the point? <clears throat> Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> Cough this. <clears throat> if you're on, if you're watching the video, you know what I'm on about. These two don't. Mm. Ricard. Mm. Care to explain? Paul Ricard. But yeah. Oh, uh, Paul Ricard, the track less... that makes you want to pass out with just the amount of colours flashing in front of your eyes. Anyway, it's less punishing. <laughs> Yeah, but at the same time, Jake, you've got to kind of go here. Would you have a less punishing circuit, but your favourite drivers are actually surviving for the next race, or it'd be really punishing, but everyone of your favourite drivers dies before the end of the track? <laughs> guys, 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 the stop the argument. The I need to get to my part. Considering you both, you both stole my tracks that <laughs> that I that I used because I hated them so much. I'm going to have to change it. So mine was hung was obviously Hungary and Russia. The, <laughs> I'm going to change it because I am a sweaty boy, and I'm going to say Jake said in New Mexico. No, I'm going to say Circuit of the Americas. Why? Really? And hmm. and because what? I am very, 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 very intelligent. What Paul Ricard. All right. Mm. So I'm making agree with really Paul Ricard. Mm. Color, too much color. <laughs> It is like a boy, like a five-year-old boy, scribbled on a map what he wanted the racing circuit to be, and he's like, "Daddy, build this now!" And um, and it got built. Yeah. And it's like, why? First world problems, right there. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Just, just, just why? I, I, I can see ways to improve it. You see the thing called uh, the second fucking. Well, you see the thing called the main straight. No. Uh, so, hey, like, you on. know the long straight that they basically cut into? Yes. Oh, the back straight with yeah. the chicane in it. Yeah, yeah get rid cut, of the chicane. Yeah. Cut the chicane the fuck up. Keep it fucking long and straight. And if you want to do that, if you want to have it so that it's like that, what I suggest you do is you get rid of the whole, the whole, the whole of sector one and you literally just have the start turn right onto the back straight. Again, I think the whole reason for that chicane is safety again, because think of, uh, more so on Paul Ricard than on Spain, but think of the entry speed, you're going to be hitting that really fast... Uh, Mate, the nearest wall right is in around. Dover. That's a fair point, yes. Literally the nearest wall is in Dover, like, no. 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 Okay. But anyway, so, so my suggestion to improve France would be to ignore, to cut off the whole first sector, and have it so that you just turn right to go into the second sector and be what on the straight. you essentially the uh, club circuit, because that's what the club circuit is. You go about yeah. halfway down the straight. Before you turn left, you turn right. Mm -hmm. And then you sort of join in about halfway down the, uh, yeah. the long back straight. Yep. So you'd prefer the club circuit without the chicane, of course. Uh, no, I'd, no, actually, I'd say keep the chicane. I would say keep so the chicane the circuit, then. if, if they kind of added to it a bit. How do you add to a chicane? Well, no, what I'm saying is, good. so on the way, the way in from the club circuit. No, on the way before. So you know where the chicane is, right? On the track. Yes. So before the chicane, there is a right-hander that you can turn down. I'd suggest using that too, so it kind of be more of a double chicane, as you can see here. So the right-hander going up. Then through the chicane, if you'll, you know, you guys will see on. So I don't know how so to explain we'll find it. Out later on. Yeah, you'll find it when you're on the stream. But basic, uh, not stream video. But basically, I prefer that. Or if we are just to improve it, just get rid of the fucking chicane completely, 
and have it as long, long, straight, which is what everyone really wanted when we heard this track was back on the calendar. The, uh, doesn't the Blompong series use the version without the chicane? That's GT cars. A lot mm, less grip. The, e the ELMS also used the full straight as well when they raced there. Mm. Yeah, the ELMS oh, do. Nice. Oh. And the final improvement, sector three, rather than having the wider line coming out of the kind of long right-hander, have the shorter one. So the longer one just slows it down unnecessarily and doesn't really provide action. Mm. I'd, I'd love to agree with you a lot more, but I just... Paul Ricard is just a mess of lines and colours for me. I can't visualise it at all. Okay, mm. anyway, moving on to Circuit of the Americas. Yeah, I want to hear this one. What's wrong with, what's yeah. wrong with big old Kota? I originally liked Kota. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a good track. I thought that the S section was a gimmick of uh, basically every track ever. But then I kind of stopped to think about it and I thought, so you've got your same old typical, um, what's it called? Something drone? I forgot his name. <laughs> Again. Tilt drones. Tilt drone. Yeah, tilt drone. So you got the same old tilt drone, uphill with a kink, and like a really tight corner. You know, leading on to a far section, you've got, you know, your D your two DRS straights are basically the only straights that you have, at the whole track, and it doesn't really flow. But there's so many fast corners in the first sector you can't overtake. Yeah, to the second sector. Oh, there's literally two straights and one corner in that whole sector. Fun. Sector right. three. It starts off with a heavy braking zone that goes into another heavy braking zone. And guess what? Goes into another one. And, and guess what again? It doesn't go into another one. It goes into a swooping long right-hander. And guess what? That's into a heavy braking zone. Into another heavy braking zone. Like, where are you going from to overtake? Tell, from what I could tell, the whole design, design philosophy of Circuit Americas was take the good bits from every other track in existence yeah. and build the ultimate track. So the S's were That's supposed to be an adaption of Suzuka. Um, the heavy braking zone into a heavy braking zone into a heavy braking zone is supposed to be Bahrain. Yeah. Other than that, I can't... Except I don't really that know works. What else there is. That works, though. Of Bahrain? Yeah. Bahrain works. So Bahrain works. Bahrain's just a pain in the ass, especially if you keep yeah. walking up into turn ten. You've you've got it a little bit. You you're right about the whole thing, but you've got the the sweeping S's wasn't inspired by Suzuka. What was I inspired by then? I, I, Beckett's. I said England. Silver, I said Britain. Oh well, that yeah. would explain why it's so uneven. All of them then. Yeah, and then the Suzuka's laws. is very much very even right the way through the S section. Hmm. And you know the long sweeping right-hander before the final two corners? Mm -hmm. That was inspired by turn eight at Turk. Get okay. rid of Monaco, or at least adapt it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> controversial. <laughs> mm. I like it. It's not like a WTF1 podcast now, doesn't it? Oh, uh, no, like we, we, haven't rimmed, we haven't rimmed Charles Leclerc yet. <laughs> no plan or Ferrari. <laughs> no, uh, Monaco needs something. It needs something. It needs to be either spiced, changed, or moved completely. Uh, there's nothing we can do to improve Monaco. That's the annoying part. Hence why I, know, I can't really circuit. fight. I, I can't fight to e change it. Any wider in places. Um, no. no. Okay. I actually think it's the tightest it's Formula E like circuit too. Oh, Jesus. No, um, with Monaco, as I said earlier, the cars are just, they've outgrown it completely. Yeah. The mm. cars are too long and too wide at the same time. You can't really fit past each other safely. As yeah. we saw in 2018, Daniel Ricciardo led the Monaco Grand Prix basically from the start with an engine failure. Mm. And uh, basically the Star Sports so... commentators just rim him now on because of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we're, if we're going to talk about a failing circuit, there's no way a driver should be able to win a Grand Prix massively down on engine power. 
Um, have you, you not seen Formula E? As much <laughs> well, they no, lose I engine. Watch Formula E because I think it's stupid. <laughs> they lose engine power all the time, and they're just like, oh yeah. We're I think battery I hate Formula E, and then you win the Wait, race. Wait, no, 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 we'll do another. We'll do another. We'll do another okay, video on this. Okay, you win the race and have zero, <laughs> zero percent power. You lose the race automatically. Like fuck that. <laughs> Roasting Formula oh, E. One, oh, your battery died. Oh fuck. One okay. track that I would instantly see return to the F1 calendar that will solve everyone's problems, and I know. He's in you Malaysia, said earlier, and I'm gonna roast not, you. No, a lot of people would agree oh, with no, you this, as you no. said earlier. Turkey. Agreed. Instant Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Someone describe <laughs> Turkey to me, please. So, so, Valkyrie. What was so good about Valkyrie, Turkey? Valkyrie, what do you think? Think of the hottest woman you've ever thought of. Oh, oh yeah. your mum. Got you. And, and that's Turkey. That, that's a track. <laughs> Honestly, the best thing, the thing that I love about Turkey was that the drivers loved it. The fans loved it, the spectators loved it, the bosses even loved um, it. Tilt fans are. I need to go have a look at it again at some point. The fans just, are spectators. It, <laughs> it had everything on it. High speed corners, fast braking zones, it flowed beautifully. It so basically had everything from a fucking ticketrome, I'm gonna call it now, because I forgot the name again. Tilt except um, for some reason we like this guy. Oh no, oh, like no, 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 it was back when oh, Tilt Tilk made good Tilt drones. Yeah, Tilt drone was the luck. Uh, What's tilt a good tilt drone? Turkey was the last good tilt drone he built. Was not the third and one again, he built. Malaysia was also a really good one. And I would actually Malaysia, like to... I just uh, never really got a ribbon with. I'm going to Malaysia. fight for Malaysia here. And so I, I sorry to step Malaysia in. Malaysia was actually his first track that he designed. I, just, that that I can remember, yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Because Malaysia joined the circuit in 1990, joined the F1 circuits in 1999. I'm not saying it's a bad circuit, it's just me personally, I've mm. never got on with it. I because I'm very much love it. I love it. It's actually yeah. one of the best circuits, in my opinion. I felt like the newer cars haven't been, wouldn't have been so great around it, I have to agree. Because, uh, mm. again, the track at most points is quite tight. But on those two long straights, that again is a very oh, yeah. common thing for a tilt drone. The mm. cars would just be with DRS. Oh, with DRS, you would be having a laugh. Oh yeah, same with Turkey as well. The drivers were cacking themselves when they were driving that, and it was nice as well because one of the DRS zones was like a really fast bank, and it went over a huge crest. You were going into a braking zone blind. It was brilliant. But, yeah. I know this is an, an unpopular opinion for Jake at least. Jake hates mm. it, and I suggest this: bring back the Nerb GP. No, I'm not a fan of no. I agree. I know you're not. Yes, finally, someone else. Don't make it the Norch Life only. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, in that case, one more F1. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. Nerve wouldn't work. But honestly, you thought Monaco was boring. That would be a procession because the track's just so bloody narrow. But it's fast. It's, it's not that fun. narrow compared to Monaco. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty it's sure fast. Hungary's more narrow. Mm. It is. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Hockenheim is more narrow. Fast and is a lot more, a lot more flowy. Yeah. Mm. You can flow between corners so much better around the Nurburgring than you can most circuits now. Hmm. Hmm. I also, I'm, I'm, I know probably a lot of people are going to hate me for this because um, of stuff, but San Marino, please. Hmm. Imola. Yes. Oh, that's an interesting one. I will say, I do like the new layout of Imola. I really do. Imola wouldn't be boring, but would it fix new cars? No, well. I think uh, it would. I think it would. They've, they've altered the circuit considerably. Talking about it's circuit a... altering and would it fit new cars? Zandvoort. 2020 no, is, is coming no, next year. No, 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 You're against it for sure. I think it's great. Why are you? Oh, okay. If it was in the bin. All right. <laughs> why? Why don't you like? Why don't you like Zambut? It's tight. There's no overtaking right. points. Yes. It's basically Hungary. I tell you what, if there is one race that I would not want to see return to Formula One, it's Korea. The Korean Grand Prix was just north or south. Awful. South Korea. Okay, good. Because if it's North Korea, all the drivers are taken as hostage. 
Oof. No, Sal. Apart from Kobayashi. One of the worst <laughs> places. Kobayashi's Japanese, you dope. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the Korean Grand Prix was one of the biggest, boringest tracks I have ever watched in my life. It's just nothing good about it at all. It's just drivel. So if, if we're going fair, down this route, I never watched it, but what was your opinion on India? Never India seen it. Was un India was unique. Again, that was Ooh, very great. much a tilt drone. It had mm. good moments, India, but... Hmm... Yeah, it's a tricky one, India. Okay, so, um... The any... straight was way too long for its own good. Like, stupidly long. India. Albert Park. Right. Oh no, here we go. That's oh, actually a circuit I would actually remove. I actually... A lot of people are now on the, against it. I'm against it. Actually, that good thing you in the previous video, I should have said that. Get rid of Albert Park. It's, really it's, the, it's, the, it's the same video. I just had a break. Because <laughs> I needed to cough. Well, in the previous one we were discussing, I should have I should have brought that up. Again, Albert Park. I'm just not for it anymore. Again, that's a circuit that's not fit to accommodate current Formula 1 cars. Yeah. So I find it really funny about the exact reasons everyone hates um, Albert Park and the same reasons that people hate Monaco, but apparently Monaco is still so much better. But yes, Monaco's got the history. Yeah, no, but I, I, again, WTF1 said this. Are we really going to prioritize history over racing in a racing series? Um, no, no hey, the, what makes Australia so bad? The lap record Just... is still held by Michael Schumacher. <laughs> yeah. The modern F car, like F1 That's cars, nice. are slower than this shit. Mm. Yeah, but the modern F1 cars are also with a twin turbo or just turbo single V6 turbo, hybrids? single turbo V6. Yeah, I know, and that was a that was a V10. Mm. The F2004 was an anomaly. An, 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 yes, that word. An anomaly. anomaly. Yes. No. Yes, that. I tell you what, that thing was. It was a fucking Exocet missile. On wheels, that thing. Okay, so Albert Park, Ridiculous. just just strap it all together. Here's the controversial one. Mm. Bahrain, bring back the original layout. What the two thousand? No, no, not the two thousand ten circuit. That was a cluster. What was something. different to the two thousand ten version? Let me find. This. Look it up. Oh my gosh, it oh, was amazing. It was a cluster. It was amazing. The funny thing about this is we're talking to a basic F one version that's only just got back into it. The start of twenty eighteen season. It was a cluster. I hated hiatus. it. It was a cluster. It is amazing. It was actually amazing. You know, I'm, I'm going to a Grand Prix with no rules and just don't drive around it. Oh, yeah, I can't. Never mind. Wasn't that to celebrate, like... Oh, hold on. Yeah? Fart rating independent. No, it was amazing. The circuit was amazing. Yeah, Literally, the whole of... 10, yeah? yeah. The whole of Sector 1... Well, no, Sector 2 was, like, just amazing. It was intense. It was... Not as fast. It was a mess. It looked like Spaghetti oh, Junction. My. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, I have a top section of that track. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turn See, 10 has become turn 19! Exactly. It goes from 15 turns to <laughs> fucking 24. 24! Jesus. Well, it was a special event, the 2010 race. I'm, I'm sorry, but the 2010 wow. version was just so much better, and that's just my opinion. I still love Bahrain, don't get me wrong. 2010, though. Again... Another circuit I wouldn't like to see was the Valencia Street Circuit. No, 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 no. Me, I'd rather the Silverstone Street Circuit. Hmm. Uh, no, oh, not Silverstone, cool. I went, um, <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> the Silverstone Street Circuit? Huh? Uh, I'm just uh, going for a little hold on. English village. Hold on, no, the London Street Circuit. Oh no. Peak times. I'm pretty sure that the people from the, from the little village close to Silverstone, I don't know if it's Silverstone Village or if it's just Toaster, complain mm. about the noise from the track. Well, of course Imagine they do. Imagine a street circuit that goes straight through their fucking town. No. F1 cars Hold zipping on. past. F1 like cars. Little Granny Mabel 87. Yeah. <laughs> F1 cars oh. roaring out Royal Britannia. Royal Britannia. No, Britannia. No, the way. No. I know a circuit. 
just park a little Renault Again, from 2006 this, out there and start is, playing God Save the Queen. If ever this circuit came back to Formula 1, I would be so happy. Estoril. Estoril, what was that? What? <laughs> Estoril is in Portugal. Is that the one that's on a... Um, what's it called? F1 2013, yes. No, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> oh. um, Motorsport Manager, that's it. It's on there, isn't it? I don't Is know. It? I don't. I've never played that game, but no. Oh. Estoril. <laughs> it was a wonderful circuit because it was in the F1 2013 with the F1 Classics in the 90s, and I drove the socks off that circuit. It was brilliant. Ooh. So um. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just no. Really? Not a fan of Estoril. Never seen it, so I'm not going to make a comment on it. If you're the only one who knows about it, so we can't talk about it. Mm, it's a good circuit, Estoril. So, um, no, well, I can't confirm that for you. Uh, what other good F1, X F1 Silverstone, there? but the old version. Oh, yes. Old well, it's a Silverstone flat out, basically, right the way around. In fact, let's go, yeah. man. If we're going to bring back old Silverstone, let's bring back old Spa. That is literally oh, just yeah. flat out right the way around. How about anything? <laughs> I like to see I watched the old the... bus stop chicane. I oh, know, you said that yeah. one before of a 90s bus stop. It does mm. flow a lot better, but at the same time, it's still a bit weird. I guess that's just mm. from the experience on it. But no, I'm mm. seriously. I watched this guy doing a lap on with different era of F1 cars. I, wanna, I think it was on R Factor, going around Old Spa, and literally with a 2017 Williams. Granted, they're quite slow, but 2015 or sorry, 2017 Williams, he literally didn't lift his foot off the accelerator once throughout the lap, apart from when he was going through, uh, no, through uh, the sauce. Hmm. So, so um, I'm actually moving along the, cal along the calendar for my ones here because I'm kind of just using the calendar to help, but I'd Italy. Love to use the calendar, but Mons is a bit basic, isn't it? Now, I'm saying keep the track, because I think it's good for racing. But... Yeah, they need... I would like to see them improve it a bit. It Mom's is still up. a bit basic. I like the track, it's just basic, but what's your butt? Well, I think there's two butts here. The butt. Oh, mm. two butts. Mm. I think th the second DRS straight needs to be moved. Mm. And have a more of a tilt-style DRS, so that it's after a story. Hmm... And then going I mean, into. I think it should be 3DRS ones. 3DRS ones. No, some what? people moan it's too artificial. Artificial. But have it so that it just goes through the third straight. Uh, not the third straight, sorry. Um, the the back straight just for parabolica. Parabolica. Then, inst then, like, before the pit lane, have the next DRS bit start. So drivers can actually use it. Because where it is now, literally, you just get DRS just after the start finish line. And then you have. Not really much time to use you, it to full you, effect. You open your DRS up and you're already on the brakes for the third of the uh, chicane. Yeah. However... I think they should have three DRS zones though. Start, finish straight, same place it is again, and then out of that last chicane going to the last corner. Well, Canada's got three DRS zones, and I think that's made the track too artificial. Racing too artificial there. So no, I think that's a bad idea, putting a third one at Monza. See, I, I, see, I see what's wrong with Canada, Canada though. Um, the start finish straight just shouldn't have a DRS section. Yeah, because nah. because when DRS was first introduced, most of the DRS straight, the one well, leading long. into the first corner, it was like most of the straight, and then they shorted it by like 500 meters for the 2012 race, and it just doesn't work. Exactly. Because I'm racing it just now on F1 2019. What about the DRS on Bahrain? They've added another one there. The, the straight yeah, I don't, after I the don't first, like top, that, the first quarter. They put, I don't like it that they put that into going into turn four. Again, that's made it. Of too all artificial. the places I, to, I see, to put I, you DRS. You don't like DRS, do you? No, no. It, if, you, if, if it's just they're overusing it. Um, Jake, if they were to put it mm. anywhere else in Bahrain, would you say the second to last straight? Yes, I would. Second Good. to last straight. But yeah. Not technically, the last straight. Well, the what last straight would... before the start finish straight. Yeah. Yeah. But what I do though is that I'd make it shorter than the back straight one, sort See, of I allow can... them to close up, and then make the other one longer so they're able to get by. 
Mm. I can't understand I... why they put that there, though, because if you think about it, the DRS is in a perfect place to allow cars to get a run-up and make that daring overtake going into turn three? Four? Four, yeah, yeah. Uh, turn four. Four. However... Yeah, so it allows you to make that, make, try and get a more daring hmm. attempt there where you wouldn't necessarily have it. But however, but rem remembering the Bahrain race we had this year, I thought that DRS section worked. What the one going into turn four? Yeah, I think it really works. I mean, you saw how Lewis completely off-put Vettel. Due mm. Just to, and he gained that juice that DRS. Vettel wouldn't have made that spin if he wasn't defending from Lewis. And also we had the Max Verstappen versus Lando Norris part, where Lando defended really, really well. And then caused Max to make a stupid move, which got action for the race. I guess it was dangerous, and it was Max's fault. However, it brought what loads of action. You're saying that DRS has genuinely brought in some proper racing? Yes. And it's made mistakes so, happen. So, even from before... complete outsiders, we can actually agree that that DRS zone has achieved what it was set out to achieve. It's actually well, made... Even... Well, even, before, happen. even before the DRS zone, Turn 4 has always been a favourite hotspot for overtaking. If you get a really good exit, you can gain a good draft and lunge up the inside of your brain. Yeah, but this enough. is the point. You're saying if you get a really good exit, this is allowing more of a challenge on the entry as well. Which is always good, because yeah. you can now challenge on the entry and get that better exit. It also allows people to maybe have a fight going into the corner, but then whoever does get the better exit, maybe can keep that position. It I adds mean, more possibilities mm. to how that corner can be challenged. And have you ever seen oh, anyone actually sure. making overtakes from turn well from turn five to turn ten? No, because you're, the cars are constantly yes, going have. like from on one side to the other, hitting yeah. apexes. They, they literally can't oh, unless like, it's lap one, lap two. Get, you'll see, you'll see overtakes no, happening seen, there, but a lot I've of times people will be smart and not going do it. Those corners. I've seen loads of overtakes. Yeah, but go I'm saying that's them. going into those corners. Yeah. Yes, but what about going through those corners? You don't really see them yeah. because people are smarter. You don't see people. To lunge into I mean, a car that's going side to side constantly. In in idea uh, F1 terms, you would have cars going side by side around every. Like, I think Shane Bear said this, which is a really, which I found really good. In idea F1 terms, you have cars going side by side, which have a, uh, making like braking earlier to you know get in for the inside line and you know undercutting, and you know being side by side over multiple of corners until one of the better driver pushes out. However, with Bahrain, you can't do that at that point. You can't do that for the whole of Sector 2 until the DRS section. No, one car, and one car will go off in that little section. Like, yeah. the fucking downhill this way, that way. Thank you, Jeff. The downhill braking point is... I'd say it's a good part of the, tur uh, the circuit, sorry. I really do. But as um, Mr. Dude and I... Uh, no, not Mr. Dude and I, sorry. Um, Red Phoenix and I showed when I was fighting Mr. Dude on this track in last year's game, he tried to make a lunge to me at turn 8, on the inside, broke my front wing, broke Mr. Dude's wheel. You know, whilst me and Mr. Dude were actually about to go side by side, someone else has made a stupid mistake, and it ruins it. Whereas, you can't get that, ac you can get action like that, where people are going free wide down the start and finish straight at Mexico, you can get it down the start and finish straight at Bahrain, but you can't get it in most places like i could tell you now you can get three people round the left ha the right hand turn at spain the, the really long right hander i can say that as a fact as you can mm -hmm. but you can't get people going through bahrain three wide at all ever i mean obviously no. you don't, don't expect three wide i mean i meant two wide the whole time i get sent three wide but yeah so that, that in terms of one, you can kind of do it, but it doesn't really work no. out too well. But after that, you've got the cars, the way the circuit moves, just doesn't allow for that to safely happen. Mm. The, anyway, going back to Italy, what do we say about getting rid of the first chicane? Mm. The first chicane of Italy? Yeah. It's a tough one, that, because it's either a chicane you do well or you just don't do at all. Well, I do know that when they were going to take out the first chicane, they were going to alter a they were going to alter curve to grande and put a chicane in there, which I don't particularly like the idea of. A curve to grande, that's uh, that's in between the, the first two chicanes. That's yeah. the long right hander at the start of the lap. It's not like the what I would 
I never know. What no. I would do, keep the first chicane, but alter it so it's more flowing. Don't get rid of it, because they need to slow down going to Coach How about Grande. instead of making it as big as it is, make the, the peak of the chicane where the escape route is on it? I was literally about to say that. You know, the the one that's got barriers on it, not uh, well, not barriers, um, yeah, you've got the escape route near the top of the chicane. Yeah. Make that the, the top of the chicane. Okay. So, uh, so actually, well, hold on. Where you can just see, if you're watching the video, you'll be about to see in a second. No, you won't actually, because uh, the slide the slideshow of pictures isn't really working at the moment for me. The here, where the ramps are, so go. It's only a slight right. It's not really, really tight. You can kind of go for it fast, but it would really penalise you if you mess up and you go into the barrier. Yeah. Hmm. Stick some gravel on there, that would be perfect. Yeah. You know, I'd definitely say enforce the barriers a lot more. But I mm. think that would be really, really good. I and agree. Like... I think that would be fantastic. So, uh... What about the second chicane? Because I feel that one you can take pretty fast and pretty well. Yeah, yeah second, that's fine. Leave the second chicane as it is. As we saw with Lewis and Vessel last season. So I think the, the, the track as a whole, it does, does what it does well. It's a fast track. Mm. You can take the corners aggressively, but you do get punished if you take them too aggressive. Ascari just that first is, chicane's a bit of an oddball. Iskari sums it up perfectly. Iskari, they got absolutely right. Going back just to a, a track we've already talked about, Bahrain again. Oh god, we're just flicking back and forwards between a tilt circuit and a non-tilt circuit. Uh, nice Going, video. Coming out of that first DRS, sorry, second DRS zone, we come up the hill again. Yeah. What's everyone's mm. thoughts on that one curve that just pulls you in all the time? Um, well, the autospin one that's on F1. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't that's... autospin anymore. Oh, is it not? Nope. Well, it has been every time I've fucking gone near it. Well, not in this game. Mm. No, it doesn't autospin you. Well, it's less poorly. Oh. They can get in there closer, but I'm pretty sure it's still quite. Is that just an F1, like 28, 20, whatever? I think that's just a game glitch because you don't really bit? see it in real life. Uh, that's because these guys are professionals and we're not. <laughs> uh, so, um, so moving on quickly, like, we've kind of covered almost every track. But we, I think I don't even think we've mentioned Mexico and how they've just ruined it. Parabolica there. Yeah, Mexico, they've just um, destroyed the Well, now we there. have, moving on. <laughs> yeah, now we have, moving on. <laughs> so, they're going to talk about Liberty, Liberty Media and the kind of things that they've planned to implement. I think that's a oh, good way to end this off. Well, what they wanted to say is, well, they, well we don't talk about the Grand Prix that have been thought about. So, Miami replacing Brazil, uh, with the other Brazil, replacing Spain with Zandor, Vietnam. Zandor, which they're doing, Vietnam. Um, and we're also thinking Vietnam, they... like, scheduled to come in? Uh, 2020, yeah. next next season. I know Is a it? venue that I'd like to see come yeah. back. And but before you say that, though, before you say that, and their mm. thoughts on getting rid of the rule that I think it was Bernie who put it in, of never having a Grand Prix in the same country unless it was called the European Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. Which was really, really fucking Japanese stupid. Grand Prix and then rename it the European Grand Prix. Right? No, rename it Asian Grand Prix. But if yeah, they were the going, Asian but that was literally what I was thinking of. I was on Japan. I'm like, I want Fuji back. Yes, Fuji yeah, would be lovely. Fuji come back. Boom. Simple. We've got Fuji Bring on the calendar. Let's go. And also allow Kobayashi to to debut there again. And yes. Everything be cool. Sweet you know, Fuji life. I'd love to see come back. Sudan. <laughs> South Africa. Nope. Yeah, South Africa. And no. <laughs> no. That was the most really? retarded circuit ever. I think Gaz is a bit brain dead. So <laughs> was... Kaila... No, Kailani is brilliant. What was Kailani? Oh my god, South Gaz, Africa. get the fuck out the way. Sweet right. Kailani. <laughs> oh my god, Gasly, come okay. on. Okay. So. Um... Uh, that's, that's Japan done. We, we agree to get Fuji back because Fuji is brilliant. Fuji is Fuji. What, America. Well, why don't you like? Why don't you go back quickly? Why don't you like Kayalani? What's wrong with the circuit? Next question, please. No, seriously, what is wrong? I just with didn't Kailani? like it. I watched one race of it, and I was like, no, I didn't like it. My okay, logic is well... I don't know it, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't really know it, but I watched one race. And they, I didn't like it. They are modifying the circuit to be able to allow Formula One cars to possibly race there again. 
So we could see oh. Kyle Army make a comeback soon. America, bring back the greatest track ever. The Glen? Watkins Glen, are you mad? Yeah. Watkins Glen could be quite interesting. Apart yeah, from I'd love to see F1 Racing Glen. No, no, no. Daytona Road Circuit. <laughs> no. Yes. If you say Indy, I will smack Bring. you. <laughs> oh, Indianapolis. Yeah, I agree, Indianapolis. I think the road circuit no. that was brilliant. Yes. No. Yes. I, I don't want to see F1 back in Why? the backyard. Why? <laughs> Why? It, it just wasn't good. Just Why? The, the circuit the Americas is. Hmm. Okay then. <laughs> no, as I said, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather see it at the Glen. No. What makes the Glen so much better than Indianapolis? The, <laughs> the Glen, it's just a classic circuit. Uh, see, the problem, in I think, no. this is why I wish them, I'm just like you don't run F1, is because you seem to be more hooked in the history of circuits. Not the modernization. Well, you say that, Dex. Also, quite interested in what you said at Sebring. F1 did run the American Grand Prix once at Sebring in 1959. Yeah, it probably destroyed the department of cars, though. Hold probably, on, yeah. hold on. What's that one? What's that one track? I don't even know if it's in America. That's right by a shore, seashore. Um, I'm pretty sure it's oh in. Oh um, no! It's You're in. Um, thinking of Long. Yes, I'm Long thinking of Long Beach. Beach. Yeah. Long Beach. Oh, that's in Australia, isn't it? There, it's in. That's in um, Australia, yeah. isn't it? No, I'm right. That's... Long Beach? No, it's America. Oh, it's I was California, right originally then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Never. Am never. I wrong with thinking that, Jake? Long Beach, California? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, nev oh, never have that. Long it was a sports Long car Beach. championship there as well. Yeah, nev yeah never, have, never have that in F1. Never. Ooh, I'd like to see them return to Phoenix. How many Phoenix American Grand Prix do we want? <laughs> uh, well, well what to be I want one, we'll and I just want it to be Indianapolis. However, well, what is your hmm. what are your last opinions on Miami? When we was when it was thought about, Ooh, obviously no, it's been changed quite no, a few times. No, the, I, I, I don't even know it. what the proposed route for Miami is. So retarded. Like, have I actually finalised a, um, a route? Because I know originally the one I heard they were going to be like literally going across a mile long bridge for most of it. Yep. And then yeah. Is that the final proposed route? I, I think they changed it a bit, but that was literally just to go around a stadium for advertisement. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, so I was like, so it's kind of the same as I thought about Vietnam, which we'll move on to next. No. Before, you, before we do, before we move on anywhere quickly, it seems like a lot of circuits right now are just now becoming straight lines. The proposal mm. for Miami, Vietnam, they just seem like they're just big, long straights, and that's all the circuit comprises of now. I know. Straight, Vietnam. Turn around, straight, turn around. Well, it's, it's literally, I think. So, since 2010, how many more street circuits have we gained? We've gained Russia, Russia? which is technically a street circuit, more or less. Singapore. Russia, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of great, this one. We have Valencia. Uh, oh, yeah, we have Valencia. Um, Technically, Albert Park's a street circuit, but it wasn't back in 2010. It, it wasn't 2010. Yeah. yeah. Was it not in 2010? And, well, no, it was, it was made before that. Uh, it's oh, a he's, classic he's modern. So, Valencia, no, Valencia doesn't count because that joined in 2008, so Valencia so is off the list. Oh, I'll so just say 2008, it, let's fuck it. Yeah, 2008. So that's Singapore, Baku. Well, Baku's Russia. Then. Singapore, Baku, Russia, Valencia. Is that literally oh, it? Yeah. But to think yeah, that we is. only to think we had only Monaco and Australia at the time. Right, mm. best street circuit, guys, go. Monaco. Ever or currently on the calendar? No. Currently on the calendar. So I'm gonna I'm go guessing. straight up with Baku. Same with me. Back yeah, in. okay, fine. Okay, sure. Okay. Back well up. You can stick with Monaco. You can stick with Monaco. I do like Monaco, Monaco's but Baku... Shite. You're shite. Baku you know, was shite most years until, like, they had one... Had two good Grand Prix in a row. And the then everyone loves it. The Grand Prix was one of the best that I've ever watched. It wasn't... was brilliant. And then the 20, just... 2019 one's shite. 2018, 2018 Baku Grand Prix. Where Alonso went from driving a Formula One car to driving a motorbike. 
Hold on. No, not that one. That the... was more the one where the Red Bulls decided to ruin each other. That was the exact the same Grand Prix, you don't. Oh, was it? Yeah, um, I, still think, I still think the best bit was when Grosjean just yeeted Actually, Grosjean, I'm changing yeah. my mind. Car into wall, under safety car, and then go. It was Ericsson's fault. Actually, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm changing my mind. Singapore. Simply because I love the fact that it was the first ever night race, and now they seem to do that it for every fucking track. Mm. I would say every track. It's the only two yeah. I know of is Singapore, um, Bahrain. Singapore, Bahrain, Abu Dhabi. They're probably going to do it for oh, Japan yeah, soon. Dhabi, yeah. Soon. Really? They're going to do it for Japan? Probably. Yeah. So that's unconfirmed, <laughs> it's just your speculation. Okay. Yeah, that is would, probably. Would, probably. Yeah, cause Sing Singapore was the first ever night race. Abu Dhabi was the first ever twilight race to go from day into dark. And then, as you said, now Bahrain's followed the tradition as a night race. And prettiest any... nice race, nice, nice race, yes, prettiest nice race has to be Singapore. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, hold on, watch, watch Vietnam be at night. Oh god. I can flying back everywhere. Oh wait, it's saying the 60s, I can okay. I back in becoming a nighttime street circuit. Why would they do I'd that, considering they, they've got so many European viewers and all the Asian viewers that they'd have would just go home. <laughs> to bed. Mm. Well, we kind of need to wrap this up in very, very quickly, so um, we've got a few oh. more bits to talk about, but Vietnam, Ugh, yay, nay, die. I say no, nay. they've got a fucking roundabout nay. as a straight, and it's literally another street <laughs> circuit, and it's like, a roundabout as a street, huh? Yeah, a oh, roundabout, I'm intrigued if you see how this goes, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a roundabout as a street, the way my dad drives, half the roundabouts are streets, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, <laughs> And they've, right. they've, got, they've got no, they've got a roundabout in the fucking circuit, and it's just like another street circuit. Just, just die, just die for me, just die. Mm. So, no, I'm not a fan of Vietnam, and then uh, Zandvoort. Zandvoort is just like, oh, my eyes are bleeding. I like Zandvoort's need... circuit. I just don't think it's gonna work for. They need to alter Zandvoort massively for F1 because, of course, the lo they haven't raced there for an over thirty years. Um, just, just saying, I watched Max Verstappen go around it. It barely looked mm. like he could go around it in just his car. Jeez. To be fair, imagine a BMW M8 going around um, Zandvoort. Have you ever watched, I can't remember what sim YouTuber it was that done it, but he he done on a set of Corsa a race with the RSS uh, Formula Hybrid mod, and mm. the AI just couldn't keep it on the track at all. Like I know that's just AI and a YouTuber, but it's not a good sign when, in sim racing, you can't even get a grid of F1 cars to go around the track mm. in one piece. You're either going to be a really slow Grand Prix IRL, or it's just going to be Monaco again. Yeah. Monaco with runoffs. Now, for the last few minutes, I'd just like to... Well, I don't even know if it'll be a few minutes, but... What do we think of scrapping a British Grand Prix? Because obviously that's in the news. It could happen. Silverstone hasn't signed on. Do we think we should get rid of the British Grand Prix itself? Should we just get rid of the name and have an English Grand Prix? Because it every track more or less has been in England. Or should Not we... Because England's the only one with a grade A track. Hmm. And are there and tracks in Scotland like uh, Glen... No, what's it called? Not Kill. Not, Not Kill. kill. Not kill that could be used. No, the the UK only has one grade A circuit, and that is Silverstone, and that's and excuse you have me. To be grade mm. A. Mm. Silverstone grade, is the only grade, grade A one. circuit. Grade one, that's the one. Yeah, grade one. Mm. Grade Close one circuit. You have to be grade Brands. one to. Uh, Brands. Brands. Brands Hatch isn't grade one anymore. I don't think. Brands Hatch is grade two. Bra. Brands Hatch. So and you have to be grade one to run a Grand Prix on. So as it stands, Silverstone is the only circuit in the entirety of the UK capable of mm. holding a Grand Prix. Yeah, but as I said, if they did the modifications, I would love to see Brands Hatch come back. What would you have to do to modify Brands Hatch to make it work, apart from just widening it up? Um, mainly runoff areas and move the barriers, and slow. I, so I, I think if you start widening down. the circuit too much, it takes Brands Hatch away from being Brands Hatch, because Brands Hatch is unique. It takes a brand out of the hatch. Mm. Here's, a good here's a good trivial pursuit question for you guys. 
Oh, here we go. What year did Brands Hatch last host a Formula One Grand Prix? 1987. Oh, you are very close. Not you, Dex. No. Oh, it's 88, <laughs> isn't it? Nope. 86. Oh, I was so uh, close, man. I know. One year, um, 1986 was when Brands last hosted in their form race. But yeah, so as it stands, there's not a single Grand Prix circuit in the UK that is good uh, enough to hold a Grand Prix in its current state. Do we think Not Kill mm. would ever have a chance, though? No. If it was better? No. Uh, like, mm. No. Again, not too Kill tight. has got too many problems, I can see. It's too tight. It's not even, It's not smooth enough. It'll tear the bottom of an F1 car apart. Oh, okay. Mm. Understandable. It would. I, I, it would genuinely tear the bottom of it apart. It's worse than... It's worse than Sebring, I'd say, in some places for its bumps. It's respect mm. the bump and then just don't fuck with that bump or it will murder you. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. But no, not Do kill, and it's also not wide enough. Yeah. I can just imagine F1 cars racing at Sebring, and when they cross the finish line, literally, when they stop, there's just like nuts and bolts, and like the entire car just disintegrates. So basically, a Williams car now, anyway. Flint... Yeah, it becomes a Flintstones, you just see the driver's feet poking out the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Hamilton runs to the finish. I win because I am black. <laughs> yeah, Lewis Hamilton runs to the finish with an F1 car around his waist. See, that, speaking of that, I would like some more African. I would like some more African Grand Prix. If they were able to make the tracks better. Hold on, what the hell? What the hell did we just say recently that leads on to Africa? Um, I I said Lewis Hamilton running, and I thought Usain Bolt, and then Jamaica, and I thought Africa, but Jamaica's not in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Yeah. But, to me, that sounds a little bit dodgy. Yeah, well, it, yeah. It's, it is I dodgy, but I love Lewis Hamilton, so. But I thought better of it. Yeah, well, you're you're posh. I'm not. No, I was going to say something quite racist, so... Well, that's, not, that's hey, normal that for a British man. Video. Yeah, yeah no. afterwards it's okay, though. <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. no. Word I know. Hey, hey. To end mm. the video off, France, three, two, one, Magni Corps needs to be back Shite. now. Oh. No, I don't want to see Magni Corps back. Not well, Magni Corps. I think you need to shut up. I think you need to just shut think, up. You know what? I don't That's think you're entitled to your own opinion. Now shut up. You know what? I don't think you have the freedom of speech. Ha. You know what? You I white think supremacist. You're a communist. I think you're a Nazi. Ha. Huh. People don't mind communists nowadays. Why do you want to bring back Manny Cole? That trash is. <laughs> it's amazing. Ooh. You're it's mad. Better than Paul Ricard, but. Anything's do, better than Paul Ricard. Paul Ricard. Do you know what I want to see them bring back? For Formula One, oh. I've got the best circuit ever, Macau. <sighs> oh yes, because we want our drivers to die every time they go on the circuit. <laughs> and that, 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 that guys is where we just end this video off here. I mean, we all don't want Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo and we all just think Abu Dhabi's meh. Actually, yeah, Abu Dhabi's okay. I don't think it's bad. Abu Dhabi's alright. It's just it's meh. Turkey to come back. I want Turkey oh, back. No, That's all we want, boys. That's all we want. Oh, we want Turkey back. Bring back Turkey. Also, oh, yeah. bring back fucking, I don't know, Suz no, not Suzuka, um, Fuji. Yeah. Fuji. Uh, drop Monaco. Yeah, and also make uh, Lagor Magyu from a uh, fucking Gran Turismo real. Lagor Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a nice circuit, oh. actually. Make it real, just so we can race around it, and then we can basically do moan at it for being like a rip-off of Japan when it's actually not. <laughs> Well, you can really, you know, for being like, kind of a rip-off of Japan, but then kind of a rip-off fucking Mexico. Mm. Yeah, and uh, with that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and the the I don't know. Yeah. Die. Yeah. Like, subscribe, and smash that like button. Yeah. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about cancer. Via my channel. Speaking of which, a sponsor for this video. Too late. I've already got it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done yet? No, I'm not saying we have a sponsor for this video. Do you mind? Oh, there's a sponsor, Jesus. Yeah, I know, I've got, got a sponsor. I know. Dollar Shave Club? No, not really. <laughs> it's just a meme because Dollar, Dollar Shave Club sponsor everyone but me. It's because I don't have a beard. <laughs> I can't grow facial what hair. What a shame. <laughs>
He's a oh. poor little. Forgot your name, person. Meanwhile, <laughs> Dex and I are both currently sporting fully fledged beards right All now. All I can get is a mustache. A hit man. moustache. Oh god. Oh, god yes. <laughs> Have we done yet? Yeah, okay, so we'll see you in the next oh, video, guys. Oh. <laughs>